I'm gonna take you guys through what I bring along with me uh, for race days. So start off with bring some power steering fluids, some extra oil, extra coolant, more oil in there. So, some of this stuff in here. I do bring two spares with me on race days. Bring four chairs, bring extra tie downs, uh, some wrenches and tie down stuff in here. I have my toe plates in there. Most of my tools I keep in my truck. Uh, I have a jack, I bring a little impact gun, half inch drive. I bring a three eighths impact or quarter inch, whatever, carpentry impact gun. And I bring, I bring my ratchet wrench, uh, power ratchet wrench with me. It's a three eighths drop. And then there is all my straps here on the wall, extra chalks for wheel stops for the second car. And then these are, these are actually locks. They, they go on my door right here when I'm staying overnight at like a hotel or something. And then I just built these ramps. Hopefully they work out well. If they don't, then I'll have a version two coming. But yeah, that's a, that's the trailer set up. Works out pretty good to have two cars in here. Save gas for my friends. We just split the fuel cost on my truck and uh, we get to hang out in the process, so. So for the truck, I'm not hooked up yet. So I just put the trailer on the truck, uh, but I have my wheel chocks in there. Rag, some brake clean WD-40, and my toolbox set in the box itself. And then I have my 50 gallon fuel tank. It is empty right now. I need to go fill it. And then, there again, things can't open the door. In my truck, I have hammers, impact guns, batteries, wrenches, sockets, anything you need otherwise in the truck just in case something goes bad on the road then i have it in the truck for doing it oh there's a bird's nest up there i'm gonna get that off mama's gonna be pissed at me but if you guys haven't seen this truck it's my compound turbo uh third gen 2004 and a half i swapped it to six speed these are my cameras for my trailer i have one on each side and one on the back. My gauges and the Smarty Tuner. Uh, I can show you the compounds real quick. Why not while we're doing it? So, that's one down, one there. And there's one right under it. You can't hardly see. But, it's a good old truck a little dirty and need to wash it real quick before we leave so maybe i'll do time lapse of that who knows and this my friends is my pride and joy here this is my ls3 swapped box body mustang 1986 4i car it, i bought it as a 5 liter 5 speed now it is a 6.2 liter 5 speed the five speed comes out of the uh, Colorado. It's called an AR5. And then the 6.2 is out of a 07 Cadillac Escalade. So I have $900 in the motor, $200 in the transmission. So it's about budget as you can get. Obviously there's all the knickknack stuff that's not included in that. The cam, the adapter plate for the transmission, uh, all the front drive assembly, cam member headers, exhaust, uh, radiator was in there when I had the five liter. So if you guys want me to do a video on the breakdown, the whole thing, I would love to do that. Um, but I do not have a catch can set up yet. So don't harp me on that too much. Just 
It's a uh, second event on this car. And the first one, it, it got a little warm, but I did do some upgraded fans. These are Mishiboto race fans. And so far it is staying cold. So hopefully at the track, it stays cold as well. We're rocking RE71s, 295s all the way around. And uh, I have five lug swap, Cobra brakes. Uh, I think they're 13 inch front rotors and 11 inch rear rotors or 10 and a half one but they are square set up same offset same everything front to back um so i can rotate it front and back i have a little bit of a spacer on the rear about a one inch spacer and then i have sn95 front control arms you get me a little bit more camber and more off wheel base and i'm on some cheap sr coilovers and uh just finished up the cage in it not long ago got the interior back in all nice i just put some harnesses in it these are just cheap harnesses for now until i go full baller and get two front seats and two sets of harnesses for it but it, she's full interior uh she weighs about three thousand pounds of the full tank uh, so 3,200 with me in it and maybe makes maybe 400 wheel, 420 wheel, I would say, but she gets down pretty well. This is my second event. My first time really being confident in it. Uh, the first time it was the, the kink workout day. So it still wasn't that bad though. I placed ninth in my class. Uh, there was... 30 people there so all in all for a fresh build uh doing it in a week over uh on my off time so i just kind of threw it together and took it into an event it worked out well uh, not a whole lot of complaints other than getting warm and oil pressure was a little lower than i would like it to be uh, but we've got those worked out as of now uh we'll see how it works hopefully uh do pretty well in this event we got a couple people i can compare to when they if they come to this event so i'll be excited about that and uh let's get this baby loaded like the ramps worked out well hopefully it works out for lower cars she's loaded in the trailer ready to go for another round of amp so we're waking up early sunday morning going to pick up my friend nick and his car and we'll be on the road hopefully leave his house by about six get there somewhere around 8 8 30 um driver's meetings at nine so this time i want to get there a little early so we can unload the cars and go through the drive walk through of the track uh, we can't walk through the track this time because it is actually on the racetrack uh, so we'll get everybody in a line everybody in their cars they drive through and uh get our first scope out and then we all line up 
and go racing. So stay tuned for that. There's some baby birds in it too. Oh, I really hate to move you guys. Sit up there on the barn door and hopefully mama come back and get you. I'm glad she didn't come beat my ass when I moved you.